Welcome to Relay. Can they hear us yet? No, I can't hear you at all on the stream. Yeah. They missed the whole story. Hello. Should be able to hear you now. Hello. So that's our speculated release date for Star Citizen that we heard from the inside. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're we're breaking the NDAs, folks, because you know the the people need to know the the true uh, answers that they've been keeping from us since the beginning, since 2011, because that's when game development started on Star Citizen. Yeah, twenty. What was that? Twenty two thousand six, something like that. Yeah, they told it. Yeah, they told us that. I was talking to Chris Roberts at E3 20, 2011. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. <laughs> this starts this, this day. Jake, yeah. you, you just cut out for like five seconds. That's weird. Why? I don't know. That's weird. Um, Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Hi. This is uh, this is uh, our ragtag crew. It's two Jakes and a Shiver yep, and me. Yep, it's it's me. I'm in stereo. Oh 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 oh. There's We're also, actually broadcasting in mono, so there's <laughs> that. There's also a uh, a Dolvac in there somewhere, which is why there's two windows. Don't believe his lies. Don't, don't believe he's lying to you. Why would Dolvac be here? He doesn't live here. That is, that is a very good question. Why would Dolphin be here? <laughs> he doesn't live here. Oh my here god, at who's all. that? Um, I think that's on your end. Um, Kaylorin. Uh looks pretty high on my uh on my end. Can you talk to Don't me? believe the lies. Is that hello? Yeah, is you're that fine. a Sasquatch behind you? Yeah. Yes. We now have a confirmed live sighting of a Sasquatch in Texas. Yeah, he doesn't live here. <sighs> don't so, don't lie to the audience. Hello, everybody. We uh, pretty heavily assumed that this week could be very quiet, and it kind of was until yesterday. Um, and they dropped a patch in a ship, or not a ship? It's a car. It's a ship car. The ship car. Honestly, it's really anti anti everything. It's basically, it shoots the big. It shoots the big sticks. It's basically towing around a giant boomstick. The big stick. Yep. Um. Anyway, I guess we should just jump right into the the big stick then. Let's go to show and tell. The big stick. Mm hmm. And there it is. Yeah, that was that was Relay's user submitted name for this because CIG showed us this um, uh, nine years ago when when it was still in concept. This particular vehicle. Yes, nine years ago. And we uh, we submitted the name the Big Stick Shooter, but uh, it made it to all the way to the final round. But they went with uh, with this particular name instead, and we understand. This was they a... didn't like my name for the retribution either. <laughs> Shooty McShooty face. Yeah, that's a good one. Son of a bitch. Uh, this is, is a uh, user created <laughs> user created picture from this week of uh, like I don't know, like twenty ish 
ballistas on a Kraken. Uh, I, I, I highly approve of this message. I, um, I think if you get 20 ballistas on your Kraken, you can get a cream for that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. It's, uh, it's the... Oh. Uh, that was a high quality, high quality pun. That that's the best one you've done in a long time. That, <laughs> that had layers to it. Oh, it had layers, all right. Gross. <laughs> yeah. What does everybody think of the shooty shooty man? the problem with having transparent images we actually have an image in the background so it looks like kind of looks like the ballistas like eating the kraken it's interesting. <laughs> you know hey if you don't go to the doctor there we go there's a good there's a good image to sit on for a bit it just, um, it will get worse so yeah what do you guys I think like of the uh the very very uh <laughs> shooty tank it's a stick launcher. Yep. Like it didn't need to have any fancy bells and whistles. It's just a platform with with like corn dog sticks. And you put the the rockets on the corn dog stick. Shoots them into space. Uh, Ghost said it. It's um, a hybridized version of the APC from Alien. The a yeah. Yeah. I just want the alien APC now that he said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going to get the the suit mm. pretty much, but probably more armored and more weapons and not just tools. <laughs> Elise is asking the real questions here. Does it have a shower and toilet? It, it No, I, it doesn't matter if it has a shower. It doesn't matter if it has a toilet. The real thing we're looking for is the shower toilet combo yeah, pack. Yeah, exactly. If it has a shower, it has a toilet. <laughs> yes, agreed one thousand percent. Oh man, you got like a carburetor in that uh, shower? Yeah, <laughs> instant regret after saying something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. The toilet paper's got to be in the shower. <laughs> it's mandatory. <laughs> Gotta love that waterproof toilet paper. And then they were like, <laughs> they were like, nah, dude, we thought of this. And it just retracts into the wall. <laughs> no, because think about it. The mechanism's already there for the toilet, right? Because the toilet folds out, right? Mm -hmm. Just fold that. Good. Just slide the, the the toilet paper roll into the wall and shut a little mini door. You're perfect. Nice and dry. CIG hire us to yeah, make this. Another designs. commodity we're gonna need. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Can you imagine how uh, how angry your crew's gonna get if you run into toilet paper in the middle of nowhere? Oh man. <laughs> Can you imagine who's gotta do the motion capture for the what the uh, <laughs> bottle of shame? <laughs> uh, Where, what if they're out what happens i guess he is in the shower yeah i guess you have to turn that shower on after you, go to you gotta it. turn the shower on <laughs> hey you know what oh, you know what man. what we're uncovering here is that it's actually good design <laughs> You know, out of all the podcasts out there for Star Citizen, not a single one of them, I bet, have this sort of theory crafting. No, no, this is the true theory yeah, crafting yeah. of Star Citizen. Submit all of this to CIG. I want confirmation on uh, the shower mechanics, the shower, the shower poop combo mechanics. It's an open question. It, it, it yeah. always is. Yeah. Will we ever get answers to these questions? There's the interior. Um, so, uh, is anyone surprised that they dropped a ship in the middle of uh, nowhere? Or dropped a tank-ish device? No. Yes. Yes. They're, they're, they've been, they, they do this every once in a while. They did it with the, the Valkyrie. CitizenCon. Yep. 
They do it. They do it on occasion. Two years I, ago. Um, the Valkyrie. Yeah, it would have been two years ago. Um. Are you surprised yeah, that it's live? Al- are you surprised that it's live already? No. 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 The the if anything is streamlined and optimized and perfected at CIG, it's the the vehicle pipeline. Absolutely. Especially if it's coming from a manufacturer that exists already, like this one is. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. That's one thing I definitely noticed was the. Oh, that was um, last year. Okay. It definitely looks like an anvil design. It's very angular. Um, very militaristic, which makes sense given that it has a bunch of giant missiles on it. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think this... I just want one so I can get in it and I can say to everyone aboard, you know, why we're headed. War headed. We're, yeah. Uh, okay. War headed. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go ballistic. No. No. Okay. Anyway, um, what do you guys think this says uh, about about? Um, I mean, we've gotten lots of hints over the years about them trying to uh, work more on like ground wars in Star Citizen. So, this is obviously like another step in that direction. Um, what do you think it says about how they expect gameplay to go on the ground? Shiver. I'm. I hope that they are aiming for at least something akin to Planet Side Two size battles. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Where literally the only limit is going to be the tech. They're just going to try and push it, and they're going to have these huge things, vehicles everywhere. I just hope that that what they have will have it so that they can support. Um, sustained assaults rather than just instant quick battles that planet side appears you know you have these hot zones where there's a battle there but they don't have anything that helps them dig in and entrench Mm. so it becomes a prolonged thing and you know i want to see something a bit more like that a bit longer thought out more tactics involved more strategy i think it also tells us that they value fps and are working on it as much as anything else Yeah, and another thing to take into consideration was, like, even with this vehicle and several of the others, but, um, like, this vehicle has limited ammo, right? So, I mean, yeah, it's, what, 10 or 12 missiles, I believe? Um, I'd say it's definitely, like, like, they're also probably building into player settlements. Yeah. Because you need to defend them, and you could rearm them realistically from the settlement. Exactly. So they're very short range. Yeah, they're. I mean, if you're actually fighting a battle, you're not going to get very far um, before having to resupply. So that's going to be a whole thing. Um, yeah, they have ten missiles. So it's fi- uh, eight size fives and two size sevens. I wonder how it's going to go fortification wise. You know, like um, how will there be changes to the terrain? Can you make an entrenchment, or will you just have to have effectively sandbag it up and things like that? I suppose one in it, one issue is if they do have it so you can change a train, build an actual trench, vehicles getting stuck in the trench or something like that. Mm-hmm. But then you wouldn't have to worry about the ballista getting stuck. You just rock it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're on point today, Shiv. Thank you. What's going on, Shiver? <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating your greens? Need coffee. Hey, if this is with like oh, with you without coffee, that, I'm not uh, sure if you should drink coffee. <laughs> so, so the like it's like if you have too much energy, uh, you're like distracted and wired. But if you have too low energy, you can't think fast enough. Shivers hit the exact sweet spot in the middle where he's tired enough <laughs> to be focused and be able to think of the the puns just. Just cranking them out. That's what it is. Pun master. That's it. All right, let's take a look at a few more of these pictures here. Um, Jake, what do you think it says about 
land battles. I agree with everything you guys said. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's just them like taking th this stuff more seriously, I think, and fleshing out that game. Because like I, I mean, think about it. It's it, you can't have FPS and no way to defend yourself from far superior firepower from the sky. So. Yep. Yeah. Because um, it's not just landing zones anymore. Like it's full open, just no limit to where you can go. So also gives you some insight into how the um, the like static defenses will work for outposts uh, when you're building them. Um, because they can really just rip the top off of the this thing and make it into a static defense. You know. Yeah. Um, what do you think about uh, two crew? Is that good? Too many? Too few? No, that's good. Driver and shooter. I agree. Those missiles only got to go one way. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jake, 2019. One of the things I love... <laughs> For somebody who's followed Star Citizen's development from the beginning, um, one of the things I love about the screenshots now is they all have fucking plants in them. Like, hey, we have plants now. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. There they are. Um, and there's the flying one uh, trying to eat the Kraken. That's good. Um, I wanted to show this because uh, Neo Drift had another great, like, uh, pixel art shot. Uh, this is the M50 flying over our corp, and it's just cool. I like it. Mm. <sighs> Those are really big missiles pointed right at you. Sorry, audience. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's go over the roadmaps. Might as well, since we're here. I haven't looked. Uh, so, it's interesting. The 3.6 is out, but there was one task on the release this week that was not done, or one thing that was not done, which was uh, the shield systems tech replacement. Um, it was only at one out of four tasks. Maybe they got it done and shoved it into 3.6. I don't know. Maybe they punted it off to 3.6x. Who knows? Um, 3.6x had some significant improvements this week. Um, ironically, it looks like the way that ship rentals went up though is by losing a task which is kind of weird <laughs> um they didn't need it ripped it out apparently. you know that you know that scene in uh in armageddon where <laughs> they 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 go to the up to the drill and they're like what the heck is this some kind of space age ice cream scooper they just chuck it yep. that's what happened <sighs> love it um yo real quick go did you guys see the trailer for top gun no not yet it no. looks pretty good <laughs> you seem excited okay like i'm i'm the first to be like nah you shouldn't touch a classic movie like top gun but this is just a sequel and it's still got tom cruise in it <laughs> Yeah. Kenny Loggins is going back into the studio and re recording Danger Zone for <laughs> this movie. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's great. Oh, boy. Top Gun, man. It's cool stuff. They, they had a. There's a F-14 in the trailer, just like back in the 80s, even though they're out of service. I'll have to go check this out. I like planes, yo. Planes are cool. Planes are cool. Why do you think I like ships so much? Because ships are cool? They are. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, people. Um, have we pimped uh, JR Fabrication on the show recently? No. Not recently. We should. Oh, not. okay. Uh, uh, someone get the link. It's difficult with only having the one screen. Um, they're they're doing a one to one hundred scale model of the arrow, and they're they're selling it. Yeah, uh, I'll get the uh, there's the link. I, I'll put it in chat right now. I bought one. I bought one. They look really good. Yep, the gray cat was amazing. So, yeah, 
They're, they're the guys who made uh, the the Kraken ship model that we saw at CitizenCon. They made the freaking dragonfly that you could wow. ride. That's cool. Yeah. You're going to have to show that off on stream when you get it. Oh, I will. I'll show, I'll show before and after uh, I paint it. I'm going to paint it some kind of cool, like not the actual arrow colors. Space Kitty. Ooh, they also have a they also have a oh. six a six unit mini fridge crate, which looks like they the crates from Star Citizen. That looks it's, awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's an it's so so you can do any SCU any brand uh, SCU crate that's in the game. You can pick any of them, like the Benny's crate, whatever you want, and you could get one of three things inside the crate. One nothing if you just want a box. Two a fridge. And three, a PC case. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, these guys are awesome. There's the PC case. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, I might have to do that. If Where's we... the one that Chris Roberts was supposed to jump out of at CitizenCon? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was insane. Right? There was just... <laughs> they pulled the curtain and there's just an SCU box on the stage and we're like, oh. <laughs> It was even <laughs> worse on the stream because you had no idea of perspective. This could yeah. have been a this could have been a man sized box and you were like, Is he gonna jump out? He's gonna jump out. Was, he, he's gonna waiting. jump out and then he just walked and you're like, What the f okay. <laughs> I was I was waiting for that. Da -da 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, Chris in a box. Because that was how they opened, right? It's mm. like Sandy. Sandy gave the speech, like she always does at the beginning, in front of the curtain, and then they pulled the curtain. She was like, "Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Roberts." The it's in the box. Yeah. It's the box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember. Oh. Oh my God. Good times at CitizenCon. Hey, guess what, guys? Uh, CitizenCon tickets this week. I hope you got them if you want them. I got one, so I'm apparently hopping the pond. So, uh, yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. I am not. No. We've decided that, uh, that CitizenCon can't survive another encounter with Jake. <laughs> so <laughs> at least, at least not for one more year. Exactly. We gotta space it out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, um, I am going – if it's in L.A., I am going next year, 100%. I mean, yeah, I could definitely see myself going to L.A. It's not very hard for me to get there, so. Yeah. Yeah. If they do go back no, to L.A. If they go to, if they to, go to Germany, either. it might be a bit of a hard, hard sell for me. But. Yeah. Um, I, I really hope it's in L.A. because I also want to go see uh, Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be up for a. I would be up for a hybrid Disneyland slash Citizen. I will. I will build a two hundred dollar lightsaber that that is garbage and it's just a thing to collect dust in my house. But I'm building a custom lightsaber for me, and it's yeah, it's gonna awaken the small six year old child who saw Star Wars in theaters for the first time in 1997. I hope he doesn't cry. You know oh, what children I'm are like. Cry. I'm gonna like I, I probably honestly when I see the actual freaking Millennium Falcon just one to one standing in front of me and I can go inside it. Yeah, but you're not doing it right, Jake. You're supposed to look at it, and the first thing you say is, "What a piece of junk." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have, uh, there's like an actual cantina there as well. Um, and then there, there's a ride that's you, um, it's think Guns of Icarus, but not a video game and the Millennium Falcon. Okay. Wow. So four people go inside the Millennium Falcon and perform a series of maneuvers and everybody's got stations and stuff and you you fight a bunch of dudes so in space 
Carbide Edge thinks that I should uh, go over to Citizen Con uh, via SpaceX. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, you could do it. Just go strap myself to a rocket. Whee! Yeah, uh, no, no, no. You, this is how you hide yourself. You hide yourself in the um, the panel manifold of the of the the Starlink satellites. There you so go. they're gonna fold you. They're gonna fold you up in there, and then you won't know that that oh. he's in there because it's all folded up. But that's then. Right. When he launches into space, it's gonna fold outwards. And there's Eric just sitting there. How am I, then he, how am I gonna get to the UK from dies. there? <laughs> you you go full Apex Thumb. Legends. <laughs> like full Apex Legends. Okay. Sure. Maybe maybe I could strap some of those ion thrusters on my boots. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen. Uh, burgers have arrived in this house. Excellent. Um, have we discussed Neuralink, or have or have no. Neuralink discussed Neuralink? Cyberwolf. Neuralink oh. discussed Neuralink. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll hit on that briefly. Um, Neuralink is a company that Elon Musk created uh, about three years ago. Um, give them a hundred million dollars and basically told them to go for it. Um, they, uh, the, their the Kojima idea method, as we like to call it, <laughs> their idea or their plan is to create a high speed, um, data interface between the brain and a computer. Um, and, uh, obviously the first, um, the first application for this for many years will be medical. So they're going to try to fix a lot of neurological disorders using um, brain implants. And uh, they had a presentation this week that was very technical and showed off how they're going to do all this stuff. And it was amazing. And you should go watch it if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, the first thing that they're going to try... I want the cyberpunk future, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first thing they're going to try and tackle next year, um, if they can get approval for it, is a human trial... Um, to allow uh, quadriplegic patients to control a computer, like a normal desktop computer, with their brain. So, how fast can Neuralink run Crisis? Um, it can't. Uh, 135 frames per second. <laughs> it, can, it can run, it can inter help you interact with a computer that's running Crisis, though. <laughs> you seem disappointed mean, Jim. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sat here thinking that would mean plugging my actual brain into microsoft windows and having a connection between my actual brain and microsoft windows and i'm like yeah. um shiver you don't know who this person is so just google octane apex legends Uh, that's what I want. Is just chop off, chop them off. <clears throat> Give me robot legs. And yeah, so you know, everyone, everyone mentioned this in chat, and everyone knows that security is going to have to be very important with this. Um, obviously, I figure that they'll be able to deal with that, but um, I think I got to tell you, if I had one of the neurological disorders they're going to be trying to treat. I, I would be giving them some leeway on security and just being like, yeah, okay, sign me up. Like not 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 accepting lack of security, but trusting that they'll figure it out, kind of deal. Um, because I mean the amount the difference in quality of life for somebody who has something like Parkinson's or, you know, Alzheimer's or, um, you know, quadriplegia, that this could provide is like huge. So. Just Huge how boss. worried would you be, right, if the first person to undergo the procedure, they come round, everything's fine, and then they say, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. While they're sitting in a chair? And can't move? Then yeah, I guess they'd be a little weird. <laughs> Why, like, I mean, they would need all you, those things in that situation. What are you going to do with them? <laughs> get dressed and get out of the hospital. Uh, yeah, fair enough. 
and then find Sarah Connor. Um. So, uh, listen. Stu- have you guys seen the stuff about the new Terminator? It looks pretty good. It looks it, pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna wait and see. Oh, no, it's I'm got good. the. It's got the OG Sarah Connor. Yep. I'm just too many bad sequels the past few yeah. years. Yeah. I'm gonna wait and see. What they yeah. did ones after Terminator Two. Yes. Unfortunately. Weird. Why would they do that? The story was told. <laughs> Money shiver. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, Star Citizen. Uh. The Origin 890 went up five percent. Uh, we got some improvement on the three point seven this week with rest stop interiors going up sixty four percent. Somebody was doing some work, like a lot of work. Um, the bartenders went up thirty percent in terms of their uh, their improvements. Uh, the NPC bartenders. Uh, a little bit of improvement on the um, missile launchers, grenade launchers. Oh, sorry, not grenade launchers. Uh, frag pistol. And then um, new Babbage landing zone went down 11% because they added a bunch of tasks to it. And then Orison went up 3%. So that was Star Citizen Roadmap this week. Squadron 42. Oh, Joe was really cool. What was that? Um, we, we went to the video game museum. And they had uh, uh, a sealed inbox copy of Wing Commander 2. And on the list of, like, like developers who started all the PC gaming, is, is Origin. Logan was up there. Nice. I was like, yeah, represent. Uh, they also had a new inbox Homeworlds, which was crazy. Okay. That's, that's man, that's a... Uh... That's like a, a relic of gaming past right there. I saw a Dreamcast developer kit. <laughs> I have my box copy of Homeworld in the cupboard over there with the manual oh, and everything. Look at you. Look at actually, you, Schiffer. It might actually be worth You have somewhere. something museum worthy in your home right now. Yep. I don't, I still can't, but Jesus God, is that museum worthy? <laughs> It's probably I'm sorry. <laughs> great game. Yeah, it is a great game. Homeworld. Is I also amazing. played. I also played Burger Time, the arcade game, in the cabinet. That was fun. All right, let's. Uh, there we go. Now it's now it's better. Okay. Um. They just had a dedicated typing of bed station. Yeah. So. Squadron 42 roadmap. They still have too many tasks that are stuck in Q2, um, considering it is almost a month into Q3. But they're coming. Um, they, uh, you'll, and specifically what I'm talking about here is the chapters, not the, the list of different uh, technologies there. Um, not a lot of movement on this schedule this week. There was a little bit on mission logic and a little bit on the Vendual Kingship, as well as the RSI Bengal. Um, but that's about it. Uh, no phases that were newly completed this week for a squadron in the chapters. So, yeah. Slow and steady, you know. We'll eventually get there. Do, 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 do. Anything else? Yep. Q2 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here if there's any images I missed showing. Here's an up close and personal with the remote turret on the on the ballista. Um, gotta love the detail here. Got some Gallinson, uh, Gatling guns on there. I like Gatling guns. Don't we all? They're pretty great. Yeah. I like large rotating barrels of really anything, to be honest. All right. So back over to here. Now our heads are big. It's terrible. Terrible. So 
Uh, well, hopefully we have some questions here because, um, you know, we do have 50 minutes left. 5-0. Jesus Christ. No, he's not going to help us with this, sure. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, I like how I, I instinctively, my brain was like, you're, you're talking. But I was actually coughing, so <laughs> the signal went from my brain to my hand to push the push to talk button. When really, my brain should have said, you're coughing, you should release the push to talk button. <laughs> um, first question is from Ashley, because Ashley is amazing and asks us questions. Um, how is the ballista going to deal with a tally, seeing as it has to be stationary to launch its ordinance? It might have an issue. <laughs> yeah. The Retaliator is going to be a dominant force in attacking ground targets. Just well. I mean, you, you, you are still taking on an anti-air turret, in effect, and you are an air target. So there, there's a chance, and you don't know how you'll be going to be able to modify the blister in the final version, or at least yeah. with overclocking and different modules as well. So it might make it a bit more interesting for yeah. the ballista to be able to actually combat the retaliator rather than just the retaliator comes in and bombs everything to shit. The other thing is the retali in order for the retaliator to not get hit by the by the ballista it has to fire from a pretty significant distance. Hey, you might be able to start moving I gotta, before I got to go hit. to my car. Okay. I'm being subbed in. Okay. Hey, it's Dolvac. Welcome Dolvac. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm a podcast fan. Hello. You are a pod podcast fan. <laughs> uh, how are you enjoying Texas, podcast man? It's hot. Hot and big? <laughs> it is hot and big, yeah. It's it's big and it's hot. It's the two <laughs> things I know about Texas. Fair enough. Uh, let's move on to our next question here from Ashley. Uh, if Microtech were to open up adding uh oh boy um sorry there's some i think i might hey shiver you have any idea what this is trying to say no <laughs> yeah me neither Sorry, I'm gonna have to skip that one. I'm not really sure it, what it was trying to say. Huh. Um, Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King, asks uh, <laughs> early Citizen Con predictions. Um, I'm I'm up for this. Uh, what do you think, Shiv? I think we answer this question every week, but you know it's fun to come back. I, to. I think the car is going to be very tired with the current plan. Well, the current plan is definitely in flux. We'll see. But yeah, one of the one of the options currently is me arriving right before CitizenCon, like the day before. And I might be a little jet lagged. So that might not be a best idea. We're working on the planning right now. Yeah, so uh question. Uh do you guys think that CitizenCon is gonna be more squadron focused this year? Because remember, twenty sixteen was kind of got some squadron information. And then the next year, 2017, was like nothing. And 2018 was like, this is a confirmation. So you think it'll be nothing again this year? And it'll just, it'll just flicker back in? Um, given where it is, I think there'll be a lot of squadron stuff, given that it's in the in Manchester. Um, but that's just my guess. I'm not sure, as sure now, because it looks like squadron's going to start slipping, the date's going to start slipping out. So I'm not sure, as sure, I should say about the squadron stuff what do you think Shiv? it's either going to be squadron or fizzle out to nothing <laughs> just he's go, right well I'll just he's go right. sit there and he's just... frank but he's right yeah. to be fair we have said that like pretty consistently throughout the years yeah that's true um it'd be funny though we're all just sitting there in the theater and nothing's happening just well, it's I don't I don't have to care this year because even if the Citizen Con presentation is a bit, pff, going is fun. Yes, it being is. Being there is fun, especially with me. 
actually i'm kind of boring anyway uh <laughs> uh lenorth slash tilu at oh actually we should make more predictions about citizen con um more yeah ships there's going to be a surprise ship that we know. haven't heard about before they're just going to release it and it's going to be a single seater welcome back what are your what are your predictions about citizen con this year jake uh, I think we're gonna see some more planets. Okay. I think I think I think we'll see Microtech, but we'll also see something else, like maybe from Squadron. I think we'll see a lot of Squadron this year. I think, because hmm. we didn't see a lot last year. So, if they were to release a ship at the event, what do you think it will be focused on? Uh, not combat. I agree. I don't know what though. Big industrial ship of some kind. Yeah. If salvage is good to go. Yeah, if salvage is good to go for that quarter, then yeah, I could Ooh, see them. Ooh, a mid tier salvage ship. That'd yeah. be cool. We we desperately need mid and low tier profession ships, you know, yeah. specialized for these things. Yeah. Absolutely. More ships like the Prospector. I and love the, the Vulture. Oh, the Prospector is such a great ship. So Wait, is it called the Vulture? Or is that the what it's called in EU? That's what it's called in SC. The Drake Vulture. It is Vulture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wasn't it? Wasn't it just like? Didn't they just yoink that ship? More or less. For me. Not like on purpose. No, but... no, not on purpose. It's just based on what it what it does. It looks the same. Venture. Ah, okay. Was oh, it Venture? Oh, my bad. The Venture and the Vulture? No, the Venture is in Eve. Eve. The Vulture oh, is... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, the Vulture. Okay. The Vulture is Star Citizen. Yes. The Venture is Eve. Which is funny, because Vulture actually makes more sense. For what it's yeah. doing. Yeah. Um, so, Lanorth slash Tilu asks, Do you have all the information you need to replicate the cocktails? How expensive will this endeavor cost you? Soon, That's a good TM? question. What? Tell, tell us more in you general about to... your plan with the cocktails. Yeah. Do you know how to make all the cocktails from Star Citizen? Um, how ex- I do. How expensive will it be, and will it be soon? Oh, he's asking about the video. Yep. Trevor, when are we going to do the video? Oh. Soon. It'll be this year. There you go. It'll this be this year. year. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Still a better release date than Star Citizen, though. Yeah, it is. Um, um, uh, no, to make them is easy. They they all have, like, we've looked at the menu. They all have, like, judging from the other ingredients that are in it, we can extrapolate the type of cocktail they're looking to make. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Firmly right. grasp it. We do need um we do need more questions, so please continue to ask questions as many questions you, as many questions as you can think of. Um including <laughs> why can't Eric me. talk? <laughs> um Fastcart asks Since Eris isn't going to Citizen Con this year, who will be responsible for hitting Shiver? Um, Eric, Eric, obviously. I mean, it could be Eric's me. Eric's actually bigger than me, so no. It could be me. It could be like Sunjammer. Uh, we could give this to Auto DJ. Wait, wait, hang on. I'm married now, so it's her responsibility. Oh, good point. You know, legally. But she she's like absent right now, so you, she needs a surrogate. I can live with that. That's fine. No, she needs a surrogate. So obviously, it should be me, right? Well, then, then, then that's that's her responsibility to name. <laughs> Oh, give me your email address. You I'll, pulled I'll up, pulled up fast one on a shiver. Um, the FBI asks, "Where's Eris?" <laughs> We're still not answering any questions until the lawyer He's is present. He's dead. Shit. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I'm the lawyer. This, He's dead. this man does not represent me in a court of law. <laughs> oh man. He, he's getting he's practicing what it's going to be like 
to be a responsible human adult that's responsible for another life on the planet. Yeah, he's busy. Yeah. Um, he'll be back next week, though. And uh, this, yep. this fever dream nightmare of me hosting will be over. Um, <laughs> um, Cyberwolf74 asks... Uh, with the release specifically fever dream <laughs> with the release of the, with the release of ballista ready to roll day one what about the tonk good question i want the tonk i have a tank tonk i want the tonk the tonk is good yeah i mean if they can get the, they can get the ballista for, out tonk for tumbrel's be probably not all the way done yet Maybe, maybe not. It's Anvil. It's easy for them to make. They probably needed this for Squadron, too. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing if it's Anvil, it's in Squadron. Um, Fastcard asks, who will lose their wallet at CitizenCon this year? Not yeah. me, because it would be a catastrophe. Maybe me, but it would be a small loss. <laughs> oh. A couple of moths. <laughs> a few moths. Nice. Um, I'm gonna say An no. I'm expired Visa gift card. I'm gonna say nobody. And hope. Um, Vasgard asks, "Are you hot?" I personally think I'm hot. Yes. Yeah, it's a um, personal question, isn't it? Apparently, it is quite hot in Boston today. How it's is hot it? in Texas. <laughs> oh yeah, America's got. Uh, America and Canada actually has got that heat wave just coming in now, haven't they? Not us. Ah. We're just getting rain. <laughs> it's like 96 outside. It hasn't been too hot this year here. That's Last good. year was abysmal. Oh my god. But we're, we're due for something Tuesday and Wednesday. Yay. Yeah, it's pretty warm in Boston right now, hey? 93. Wow. I heard something about it getting to like 115 in New York. Like in the next couple days. That's yeah. egg fried weather. Yeah. There was a movie I saw and I don't even remember what it was, but it was like the sun was like going supernova. So it was like expanding, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. As, as a star does. So as it did, the, the, it just got hotter and hotter on Earth. For some reason, the military was like driving around or for some reason. <laughs> and, the, and one of the captains is like, yo, that's egg fried weather. And they're like, what's that mean? And he just cracks an egg on the side of a tank and puts it on the <laughs> tank, cooks the egg. I don't remember what movie this was or if it might not have even been a movie. I don't know what it was. <laughs> But I distinctly remember this, seeing that when I was like seven or something, I saw this. I don't know what it is, though. I got nothing. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Fastcart. He very well could have had an egg just handy. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> after all these years, I've been waiting. <laughs> How many eggs I've lost over the years. Just they laughed at me in the party. recruitment office, but who's laughing now? Uh, Here we are. The egg was one day away from retirement as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best by date was was tomorrow. Had to <laughs> had to crack that sucker. Had to crack that sucker on something. Uh, ooh, good question from Ashley. Uh, what do you think the next consolidated Outland ship is going to be? Uh, something in, well I mean we can level it down I reckon it's going to be commercial or industrial related right or not you right, uh, you right? <laughs> well, well yeah probably chances probably. are I reckon because yeah, yeah. That, that's where there's the most holes and you know game wise law wise mechanic wise it makes sense to try and fill out consolidated outland a bit more because everything else is quite fleshed out but what um i suppose what roles are missing that you would need a ship for and what sizes and what so do you remember would consolidated outland make mm. 
So, so do you remember that one time when, when uh, in Transformers, when Megatron turned into a gun? It was just like a giant pistol. Which time? Yeah, I mean either time. Yeah, that that's what Consolidated Outlands next ship is going to. Just a giant nine millimeter pistol flying through the air, just like a like a like a black police firearm. But also has engines on it. I could see that. Foolproof. Um, it's really hard to tell. Um, I've o- I've often wondered if they'll do. Considering they made the Pioneer, I'm wondering if they'll do something sort of um yeah. synergistic with the Pioneer. Dolvac Dolvac says that uh, they should make a flamethrower. <laughs> Yes, they should. Yeah, they absolutely should. Yes, I like should. Super Serious's idea of a mining competitor starter. I could see that too. Um, the Prospector is a pretty great ship. I'm not sure what you would do with. I guess you could make a small ship that does what the Orion does, which is just like eat asteroids. Well, I mean, what's the prospector's weakness? Has it got much in the way of storage for the ore? It, well, it has those four compartments, right? Um, or two? Sorry, I think I'm, I think it's two. Um, my bad. So, I mean, you you compete by either making the capacity bigger or making the capacity smaller, but mining faster. Yeah. You know, it's just an option. There are I, many ways. No, it is four. It. it was four containers. My brain was uh, on the on the mark there right off the bat. Um, but yeah, as Super Serious is, Super Serious says, his point stands of eventually we're going to need different types of ships to compete in each profession. And yeah, yep, absolutely. I'm just not sure how they would make it differentiate. How would they would differentiate it? That's a but that's not a question for me. That's a question for the ship designers. Hmm. <laughs> that's their problem. Um. So, the next question, um. Ashley asks, do you think the ballista is a sign of things to come? I'm going to ask Jake that question because he's being weird. I don't even remember. I didn't even hear you. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the ballista is a sign of things to come? What? Ground vehicles? Sure. Very heavily armed ground vehicles. Yeah, why not? I like that answer. Yeah, why not? Is official relay? Uh... <laughs> it, like, listen, this is a universe simulator. When it's this vast and infinite, the the answer to should we do w- what's going to happen or things are going to happen or is it a sign? Or, the answer is always yeah. Why not? Because it's infinite. I mean, it's really up to the players too. Like, if they build in all the systems to have ground There's battles, a pink. Kitty cat, <laughs> dragonfly. <laughs> yes, <Anything>. there is. <laughs> That's a very solid point, Jake. <laughs> There's a T-shirt in Star Citizen that just has the Kappa em- emote on it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I I'm I'm on it your uh, wavelength there. Um, Anything can happen. Big Stupid Jellyfish asks... What a great name. In the Red Bull Gaming interview, the lore team said that there is more to the Vanduul than meets the eye. What do you think it is? Are they as savage as they look? Transformers. (laughs) That was amazing. It was right there the whole time. You you answered your question within the question, sir. Boom. Um, I I think think the. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry, Eric. Go on. Um, I think the answer to this is that what you'll find out is that the reason this is a popular theory, but I do think it's a it has some legitimacy. I think that the reason the Vanduul are invading everything is that they're being pushed by something else. Oh. Um, I think that is the like the big... Aridin. Or not the Aridin, like Aridin. 
Yeah. Um, because they're nomadic. So I think that it could be that the reason that they're attacking the humans is because they're getting pushed from the other side by something bad and huge. They weren't... The Reapers were the thing that was... That's not... That's not what we're saying at all. Uh, fast cart. Actually, wait. Does anybody else have anything to add to that? What the uh, vandal could be? No, totes. Totes? Got it. Totes. Yeah. Um, uh, they could also be shapeshifters. And uh, have a, have possible. a have a have a type of like conglomerate, but one kind of something that's more foreboding than like a conglomerate. Maybe a a, a council or a. Um, but like ruling, crushing the lower people, you you kind of dominate them, if you will, you know. Maybe like a dominion. Okay. Uh, Fastcart asks uh, the Archimedes went up in <laughs> the Archimedes went up in price. How many people are thinking? How many people do you think are kicking themselves for not getting the $30 LTI tokens out of their buyback? 42. That's about, right, about the right number. Jake is just looking at Dolvac. Like, what the heck is going on? Look at that. <clears throat> Thor, son of Odin, asks, Will ships be able to go underwater, and do you think there will be dedicated submarines? Uh, maybe oh, some. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe some for the first part, and I think yes for the second part. What do you uh, think, Jake? I I think ships will just be pressurized, and there'll be no difference. We can just yeah. We got shields, man. Hey, if the Enterprise can go underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I hurt shiver so badly with that comment. <laughs> exactly. Uh, does the, does the fight go underwater at some point? No, uh, the vo uh, Voyager no. does, I think. No, Voyager gets buried in ice. That's what Voyager happens. gets buried in ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the Voyager was also made to land on planets. Yes, it was. That's true. That's yeah. true. And That's some true. Of the that was one of the problems is, uh, is a fair number of the ships in Star Trek were not made to land on planets. So having They weren't even meant to be built on fucking planets. And then in no, the first remake of the thing, oh, <laughs> no. with all this corporate branding everywhere of Nokia and Budweiser beer. And you're like, are you a fucking Star Trek movie or a fucking advert? Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you okay, it, it still hurts. It still hurts. <laughs> but we've got the new yeah. Picard series to look forward yeah. to. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to that. We've got a whole bunch of stuff out this week about we it. The, we got the Section 31 show coming yep. up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's going to have... um. Oh, Christ. Well, no, it won't oh, have oh, him Oh, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. It's going to have Michelle Yeoh in it. So I'm like, yeah. There are actually five, five Star Trek series in production right now. Lower yeah. Decks, a cartoon. Um, yeah, the lower, lower decks cartoon yeah. from some of the makers. We of know Rick about and Morty. three of them. We know about three of the Star Trek shows. Not, and then there's two more they haven't announced. We yet. know a little bit of detail about a couple others, but yeah. Um, there's lots. Yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Star Wars team. Alive. They got stuff going on too. Yeah, it's. They got it's interesting times the funny thing is lower mm. decks actually started production before any of the other ones but it takes so long to do animation that um, yep that it's gonna still be i think they're talk targeting like 2021 for it to come out yep really wow yeah animation's That's... hard yo it takes a long time and they're doing it it's all coming out in different places as well like over here star trek oh, discovery yeah. is on netflix <laughs> but picard is going to be on amazon prime yes lower decks i i her um, might be Nickelodeon. Oh, really? Uh, here, here, and you just have to pay CBS directly. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Um, and also, Lower Decks will be uh, CBS All Access, so that should be it. Should be the same as um, it should be the same as Discovery then, R I think. So. Um. 
But yeah. your discovery is getting pretty good. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh man. All right. I, I'm gonna have to watch it now. Freaking incredible. Um, but yeah, they're talking like 2021 or 2022 for Lower Decks because it takes so long to do the freaking animation. Christ. But I, I need to watch. I need to watch season three of the expanse first oh i haven't watched season so, three yet okay you're not doing anything else this weekend go watch that all right it's it's the season three of the expanse is like just mind-blowingly amazing it's so good i didn't think that show could get better <laughs> it did um, anyway uh you know, if you like The Expanse, did you know that Astro, around about this time, just before the podcast, does a role-playing stream it does. of The Expanse? Because there's a there's a Expanse rule set that's it's out there. You can, you can play. That's so cool. That's so cool. <clears throat> oh, and yeah, when is season four? The Expanse season four? Um... Uh, it's probably not till next year. Oh, wow. The first Cause season three... First pictures are already out for Expanse Season 4. Yeah. It's because uh, uh, Comic Con's happening right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, huh? Today's the day! Phase 4, boys! We're going to learn all the movies coming out! Oh, God. So many. For, oh, really? For yeah, yeah. Today's the panel in about oh, five hours. <laughs> um, so, actually. Good news, everybody. Um, apparently, Amazon has assured assured us that the season four of The Expanse is coming this year. Oh, um, boy. That's uh, fast. Talking about as early as early fall. So that would be like September. Man. Um, yeah, yeah, Marvel Roadmap is, is uh, the, the panel for it is tonight, at least. And uh, they do expect that the release date for The Expanse season four will also be at Comic-Con. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty great. Yeah, there's a bunch, bunch of panels happening right now. Like like uh, all the good Hall H stuff. Um, bah, 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 bah. questions. Next question is <laughs> the, the Marvel the Marvel panel is like the only panel in Comic Con this year that only has one person on it, and it's Kevin Feige. <laughs> Here's the Kevin. plan. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yo, the movies. All right. Ashley asks, um, actually, oh, okay, wait. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of questions now. We got to start answering questions. Jeez. Here we go. Um, I mean, we still have 20 minutes. Ashley, Thanks, Ashley. Uh, thank you so much, Ashley. Ashley asked all but one of these questions. Um, Ashley asks, uh, do you think Microtech will ever make its own ships? Um... I, sure. I kind of hope Maybe so, vehicles. almost. Because they'd be like at, these... at least vehicles. Yeah. That's like asking, will Apple ever make a car? Well, they poached a bunch of Tesla's employees like three or four years ago and they never did anything. So I never really know. <laughs> um, they could make a car. They could. Um, they're the world's only trillion dollar company they could do something with that money yeah just if you ever want to if you ever want your brain to hurt really bad go and look up how much free cash um, Apple has it's <laughs> it, it could feed the entire world uh, like the rest of their life a, a few dozen times like it's I believe they're 280 billion dollars in like cash um they could buy a country if they wanted to yeah <laughs> it's fine we're gonna get we're gonna get to the, like the super every, everything's gonna be super expensive but then we're gonna start to be able to synthesize protein from and then and then we could just feed everybody anyway that'd be nice replicators is what i'm saying yeah. Well, for, first, before the replicators, there was protein resequencers, which weren't great, but they got the job done. Like in uh, Firefly, where all their all their food was awful, but it fed them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that yeah, in in uh, Star Trek Enterprise, that's why they had a chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because somebody had to cook. 
Um, the so, chef, did you turns know... out, was William T. Riker. Actually, they were going to cast William Shatner for the role of the chef. What? Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been the great. The series that never was, there was going to be some storylines. T'Pol was going to be half Romulan. Oh, the... Do you remember there was that whole thing with the temporal Cold War that they dropped in the guy in the shadows? Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. was going to be Archer. Oh, wow. They were considering bringing Shran on as a permanent member of the crew as a yes. sort of exchange thing. What's that guy's name? What's oh, that guy's name? Oh, Jeffrey Combs. I, yes! Yeah, I love him. Put him in everything. Played Wayoon. Yeah. He need, he he pl he's played like six characters in Star Wars. He was Brunt the Liquidator. <laughs> or yeah, Star Trek, whatever. Get out. He was, listen, Trek okay, Wars. Listen, I, said, I said in Star Wars, and then I He was the one who piloted Brunt. the big blue box, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Jake. <laughs> no, what does it say? I, I mess up Star Trek, but then I name drop Brunt the Liquidator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> um, oh, gotta love it. Brunt, Brunt is one of my favorite uh, guest characters on Deep Space Nine. Oh, he was amazing, and I was I love that Jeffrey Coombs played him too. So great. Yep. Um. Also, if ever, if anyone here has not watched DS Nine, we'll say for the thousandth time, go watch DS Nine. Go watch Deep Space Nine. So good. It's some of the best science fiction ever made. Yes. Ever made. Um, I'm going to come back around to Ashley's question here. I think Microtech might make ships, and I kind of want them to, because I think they'd look really funky. Yeah. Um, I, I just want it to be like, 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 or like a, no, okay, okay, have you seen Wally? -E? Yes. Uh, what, if, what if it was just a pod that was like in the shape of, of Eve or whatever her name is? <laughs> Yes. And you just step in it and you're just standing in it like this. But instead of Eve's face, it's just a windshield. And you just hover oh, in a straight line. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the Microtech ship. We're done. We, we've designed it. Somebody ship that to CAG. Um, Shiver, what do you think about Microtech ships? I could see them, you know, corpse doing one off <laughs> special ships every so often in game later on down in the line. Um, so I, w I wouldn't say a definite no, but I, I could see, you know, components, specialized components, special one-off things, or maybe is, um, you know, it's Christmas, so everyone gets this one-off Microtech ship for free if they log in during this certain period, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I can't see it being a regular thing on the market, like um, a Connie or anything. Yeah, World of Warcraft does that stuff all the time. Like they do it right around the uh, the anniversary of the game. It's like if you log in like in the three week window that they set, you get like a, a pet or something. Yeah. Um. Next question from Ashley is: Do you think we'll ever see Zerg slash Tyranid like aliens in the game? Yes, please. Also, probably because they have this weird floating head crab looking things that they had that one time. That are supposed to be on Hurston right now, but they're not. Agreed. Uh, Ashley the short asks, answer is yes, totes. Ashley asks, yeah. is there any point to the Tumbral Cyclone anti-aircraft version? No. Uh, it's faster than this thing. Way faster. Way more mobile, yeah. Yep. So if you're actually if you're actually fighting a battle where you need to move, yes. Yeah. With, like, trying to shoot down a retaliator and not get hit by the giant freaking torpedoes it's firing at you yeah um so if you want to chase down the retaliator before it blows your settlement up or that uh ashley asks so with people being so creative about putting stuff in uh caterpillar bays do you think cg will just give in and give us some broadside modules <laughs> only if they it let you happen. mount only if they let you mount big sails to the top of your caterpillar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like big solar, solar sail, sails. Big solar sails yeah. to the top of the caterpillar. <laughs> Broadside modules down the side. Big golden sails. Oh yeah. my god. Get totally. rid of the joystick that controls it, and it's controlled by this weird wooden <laughs> wheel. <laughs> I okay, would buy listen. that ship. 
Listen, this was this was this was right around the same time. There was the one episode where where uh, uh, Cisco and Jake go on uh, a journey and they built this solar sail. Yeah, I love a, that. A sh- and then a short couple years later, Count Dooku t- takes off from Geonosis with his big old solar sail ship. First time that's ever been in Star Wars. Never happened ever again. Who knows what that is? <laughs> <laughs> um, Fascar asks, uh, anyone paying any attention to Comic Con seen or heard anything good? I'm, what? Also, no. I'm, say, I'm mostly looking. Again? I'm mostly looking at you, Jake. Uh, are you paying attention? Is anyone paying attention to Comic Con? Have you seen or heard yes. anything good? Oh yeah, uh, the Witcher trailer was pretty cool. Um, yeah. uh, it it actually I, I I went in with very low expectations and was pleasantly surprised. Um, uh, they a couple things have leaked from the Marvel stuff. Basically, WB was like, oh, yeah, so there's been some delays on Akira, so we're letting Taika uh, loosen his contract yep. a bit for, for the live-action Akira in order to direct Thor 4, which nobody knew was a thing until WB kind of just barfed those words out. Yeah, I, I saw that. And then everyone's like, uh, Thor 4? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, it, at least, at least, uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con is notoriously closed doors. They do not allow cameras anywhere. Nothing will ever get streamed. It's very exclusive. Uh, that's why it's so popular. <laughs> it's also, really, 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 really hard to get tickets. Yeah, like yeah, the hardest it's, ticket to get. Bar- uh, here's here's what's gonna happen. Just look at like midnight tonight. Someone will have recorded it all on their cell phone and uploaded it to YouTube, which is how we learned about Phase Three of Marvel when they announced it. So, yep. Um, some other stuff. Uh, the so that's happening. Um, the the three rumored slash confirmed movies that are happening for Marvel is Shang Chi, uh, which is gonna be cool. Um, the Eternals, which is the Avengers from space, and a Black Widow movie? Yes. Question mark. Heard rumors about that a while ago. Yeah. Uh, judging from the events of Endgame, <laughs> question uh, mark. A lot of, the, the, that's the <laughs> emphasis on the question mark at the end of my statement. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah. Also, if you haven't seen Spider-Man: Far From Home, it was fantastic. So good. Oh my! If God. there's a cinema near me, can I see it near my home? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, so so in an interview, uh, so Tom Holland is uh, is British, and he uh, he's like in an interview, he's like, yeah, the first movie was called Spider-Man: Homecoming, and I was two thousand miles away from home in New York. And the this one's called Spider Man Far From Home and it's down the street from my house. <laughs> Cause Excellent. the the end of that movie takes place in London. <laughs> so, uh, I thought that was hilarious. Pretty good. Yeah. Um other than that, I don't think there's too much uh, some images for expanse as I mentioned before came yep. out. Um Top Gun the the trailer for it chapter two <laughs> uh they're going in like full cosmic horror stuff which is super awesome like they're getting into the later half of that book so that, um i forget also speaking of cosmic horror if you haven't seen stranger things season three yet good lord you need to watch it i think it might be better than season one it is better than season one. <laughs> Which is saying something, I gotta tell you. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Like, oh. that's my favorite. So it's why my most anticipated game right now is Death Stranding. Oh, yeah. I'm very We're interested. two months away from. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to get comes out in September. Okay. Uh, note to self. Yeah, did, you, did, did you pick up a PlayStation yet? Me? Eric? I can yeah. at any moment. I haven't yet. Oh, okay. 
I have well, like so four. Now have, you have. I have like four hundred and oh, I should have like five hundred dollars in credit for a store, so that sells consoles. So, yeah. Well, now you have a very good reason. Uh, yeah. No shit. Um. So let's try and get through some of these questions because Ashley's like throwing it up here. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're going to delay it fast cart. They, they announced their release date like last month. So I think, I think it'll hit it. Ashley asks Terra soul. Or They've been Sm working on this thing for six years. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Ashley asks Terra soul or Stanton. Where would you rather live if you were in the actually in the verse? Not Stanton is the answer. I would like to live on Terra. <laughs> so I, uh i know do, but i'm do sticking things, with it due to things that uh that i've i'm starting to theorize about the state of the soul system in in star City, that might not be a good place to be around either you can um, live on like you can live on like series <laughs> i mean sure you could live on series that's, that's, I, I think I'd Are you being serious right now? No. You lost it, Shiver. You had it, you. The threshold only lasted about thirty minutes, where the puns were just uh. unstoppable. <laughs> and we, the Shiver's just too tired now. Oh, uh, for for a while, I was a luminaire. <laughs> <laughs> um. Next one up, Ashley yeah. asks, do you think that Terra will ever declare ind independence from the UEE? And if they do, what systems would join them? Uh, yes, and I don't know enough about the lore yet. So here's my plan with lore consuming. As I do, I am a lore consumer, but I like to have like a basic structure of things being like the, the like squadron in this case to then build the lore outwards from in my brain does that make sense yep so it's like i'm not just gonna pick up the edge of the empire rule book and read the the inner machinations of the outer rim uh cartels in Sorry, order to learn about star wars i'm gonna start reading i'm gonna start by watching star wars <laughs> And then I'll get there eventually. You know? I just loaded up the star map and it just blasted everybody on the screen with the star map oh. uh, sound. Or on the stream, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so so I'm going to play Squadron first before I really dive deeper into the lore and then kind of build on Squadron as a baseline. You know? That makes sense. You know? I'm just going to take a look at what systems I are, are near, near Terra. Because I don't have it memorized in any way, shape, or form. I know just about everything about Mass Effect, but I did not start by reading the Mass Effect novelizations. No, I did not. So the jump points from Terra, the immediate ones are Stanton. And uh, actually, that's notable that Stanton is right beside Terra. That might tell us something about what they're going to do. Um, they're going to dance. One of the, so adjacent to Terra is Goss. Tyrannus, Pyro, and Stanton, and Magnus. I could see Magnus. Oh, and and Hadrian. Jesus, um, and Tayak. Holy! I like, I like that name a lot. Hadrian. The, it's yep. Good, good. Like, like fantasy name. So reminds me of wolves. Magnus is a big military system. It has a huge UEE presence. I could see them trying to take Magnus right away. Um, Goss, I've often thought, might go with Terra just because they're very new agey. Um, hang on, hang on. Can I... Was that Magnus? Yes. Sounds like the Ultra system. Ultra what? Magnus. Ribbed. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm, say I'm thinking, like, you know, they'd probably want to get Magnus right away. And uh, Goss is important. And if they could get Stanton, they would be in great shape. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, next question. Is Microtech Google, Apple, or Amazon? 
Apple. Apple. I agree. Ashley wants to know what percentage of the questions uh, that they have asked. Uh, let's see. One. This is... This, this form goes back literally about two years at the very least. Possibly three at this oh, point. Oh, no, I'm going to only do it from today. Okay. But yeah, the, the actual sheet. Dude, we actually have 28, 20, almost 2,400 questions on here. You guys are awesome. Uh, um, so there's like 26 questions, and Ashley has asked three fifths. Over half, about 52 percent ish. Um, Ashley then asks. How about Microtech building ships? They buy out of sorry, wait. How about, how about how about how about my how about Microtech building ships they've bought out of uh consolidated outland like full on vertical integration? So like buying the hull of a ship from consolidated outland and then outfitting it themselves. Could you see that happening? Like a microtech version of a another hull? I, you yeah, mean like, I don't see why not, but I don't see why mean, either. So, so like how how Apple uses Samsung uh, <laughs> panels for their phones, and sometimes chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They do do that. <laughs> they sure do. Um, I don't use either of them. I use proud sponsor OnePlus. Is the best phone you can buy. I wish we were sponsored by OnePlus. OnePlus <laughs> sponsored the podcast. OnePlus is actually amazing for real. They do a good job. Oh, instead of Microtech making ships in house, they buy out Consolidated Outland. So they use Consolidated Outland's factories for making their ships. Oh, okay. I see. What, okay, I understand. I, I was understanding that a little differently. Um, Ashley Two asks. Um, <laughs> Is Relay cancelled if Ashley is sick on a Saturday? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be if you would ask some freaking questions. <laughs> We're not talking to no, Ashley, Ashley here, no of course. podcast. Yeah, no, um, Ashley, Ashley, you're the good egg. Hey, I have a question specifically for Jake here. Not the one that gets cracked on a, t on a tank and cooked. Well, you know that. I have a question specifically for Jake here. What would a Spec Ops ship drop? What would a Spec Ops drop ship be like? Uh, so it would it wouldn't be designed by humans. First of all, it would it would be designed by maybe like a like a an alien race, maybe Tavarin. maybe a bird like race. Yeah, um, and yeah. they would kind of make their ship look like a like a bird like creature where uh you drop out of maybe the the stomach of the ship and the maybe the wings fold down and become shielded cover for your troops that'd be really nice what would they call that kind of ship uh you're not talking there jake what drop him up drop face yeah you... dropperino bamberino oh bamberino okay got it bamberino um, now Shiver, I'm going to specifically ask you that question. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're almost at the end uh, of the show today. Uh, thanks everybody for giving us questions. Mostly Ashley. Um, did it. <laughs> Tofu asks, are there any new mission givers in 3.6? Uh, I don't think that we know yes. of. Are there? Okay. I think I think there was. Yeah. I'm just Who trying to find the patch notes now. Well, let's... patch notes that everyone has access to on Reddit, including you, Tofu. Are you giving him shit? Yeah, I know how much of a lazy Sh motherfucker Shiver. he is. Sh I'll go and check the patch notes for you, and then read Shiver. it to you as well. Shivers a a living. Let me Google that for you. Link. Well, there are there are no mission givers in the 
in the roadmap for 3.6? Well, there you have it. Because I know, I remember reading them like at three o'clock in the morning last night and it said mission givers and a subtitle and I was like, oh, wow. Well, then there you go. I don't know if it might have just been changes or something. It may have. Could be. (laughs) Improvements Um, to existing mission gives. Mission gives? Mission gives. Which is why I want to check packages. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple more qu- quick questions. Hopefully they are quick. What's up? What's up? Let's answer the questions. Yeah, we should. There's only three. Real quick. Hermes asks, uh, how deep does the mission giver, uh, mission player, mission player gameplay go at the moment? How much is planned? So deep, dude. Um, I definitely think it's not as deep as it's going to be, if you, if that's the question. No. Um, they gotta get like the whole multi branching mission. Iterative. Yeah. Um, Der Fleischer asks: After the patch, after the patch is before the patch. Now that three six comes out soon, what what are you most excited for for three seven? Uh, I'm excited to fly my 890 jump, but not 3.7. <laughs> what are you most excited about for 3.7? Uh, what is even is in 3.7? Uh, I have the roadmap, up. In three, seven, I have the roadmap up on the stream. Oh, I don't have the stream open. And that's my oh, first mistake. Oh, that's a problem. Um, I'm I gonna just have say, the chat open. I'm going to say probably... Uh, procedural asteroids. PvP bounty sounds fun. And the first banish ship sounds fun. Yeah. 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 Whole bunch of graphical improvements coming this patch. Um, that's that's like pretty much it for me. Just like this game. This Fuel game really- scooping. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. Gotta get that fuel scooping. Why? Hey, question. Why am I larger? Because I made you larger. Oh. <laughs> because you're supposed to be two people, and but Dolvac is not oh, really yes. up much in the back. By our powers combined. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You got it. Uh, Der Fleischer. That's what we already answered. Last question. Do you think they're creating mission givers fast enough? We asked this question already. Well, no. Oh, no. We were talking about weapons. That's what, what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, probably not, but I don't think uh, uh, characters are 100% done yet. Once they're done, I'm sure it'll be faster. I agree on that. Yeah. 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 I think the ones that we're getting now are like the big hero ones, and they'll probably have way more missions later yeah. on than they do right now. Um, you'll probably get a lot more lower level mission givers later on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's about it for us this week, folks. Thank you very much for joining us. We did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can subscribe if you want to get David and Eric's face to plaster all over the internet. Uh, you can follow if you want to know when we go live. It's always 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 Pacific. Uh, spoiler. Sometimes we do other streams too, like the space show. We, is the space show this week? Uh, nope. Uh, we're kind of on a bit week. of a hiatus here while David's gone. Um, oh yeah, so. David's gone. That's right. Okay. Um, cool. Hopefully soon. Join us on Discord. Discord.gg slash RelaySC. Uh, we talk about all the fun stuff going on. And yeah. Go check out Join the, the Discord. Uh, it's, it's a good time. Go check out the... I didn't get to talk about it much, but go check out the uh, the Witcher trailer. Um, looks pretty good. Yeah. I think there's some things that they could tighten up a bit, but also there's some stuff that I didn't expect them to do as well. Um, looks like we're going to get Yennefer's backstory, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and they got the toxicity right for for uh, Geralt, which is super yep. cool, seeing his eyes like all fucked up. 
looks pretty mm. great. He doesn't just get veiny like he does in the game. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a have a great weekend and uh I'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Farewell. Goodbye.